What have I gotten done this morning besides chores? A whole lot of nothing. Happy Sunday morning, everybody. It is 9.42 a.m. Sunday, March 21st. If you watched last week's vlog, you know I didn't close last week's vlog until this morning very early before 8 a.m. because I forgot last night. Um, those of you who have seen your parents um, know how stressful uh, things can be at times. And so... Um, yeah, Bob and I are of an age that all of our parents are in the senior category and have been for a while. And one side of the family is doing okay health-wise and the other side's just not so much. So it's just stressful. Um, I'm continuing to do my self-care practices of art and just turning things off and reading a book or going for a walk or what I need to do to take care of myself, making sure I'm eating right, documenting, what I'm eating and drinking, my blood pressure, my glucose. No, I'm not diabetic, but I keep an eye on it because my mother is. Um, and all of those things. I use the Lose It app to write it all down, FYI. Um, and I have a Fitbit. I wear a Fitbit in my, in my tucked in my shirt. So um, I have tracks of all of that stuff. So I'm making sure to take control of what I can and let go of the stress from that of which I have no control. Way easier said than done some days, but I'm working on it. So if you feel like at times in your life you're in a similar position, I'm with you. <laughs> um, and there's, you know, a lot of us who have at times been there at one point or the other in life. So you're not alone. Anyway, anyway. hi guys. <laughs> It's um, just about 3.30, 3.28, uh, still Sunday. And I, um, we went for a long walk. We needed just a few groceries to make it through till like this time next weekend. Um, so we went and walked over to the grocery outlet, which is um, near our house. And it's about, I don't know, a mile and a half away. And got a few groceries and then came back and this morning. And then I went upstairs after lunch and I made... Um, a few um, journals out of the painted canvas we worked on last week. Yeah, last week. <laughs> Two weeks, I guess, by the time you see this. I'll link the video in the description below. Um, I, did, I had some artist canvas scraps and so and pads, and so I painted them up um, and did some stenciling and pen work on them. And then I, when they were dry, I made some of them into some um, little journals. And I will list, I'll put a picture here of the journals. They turned out so cute. Of course, I kept two for myself. Um, and I listed the rest on um, the Etsy shop. And I am out of mixed media paper. And I think that might be the best paper for these journals. So I'm going to get some more. And as soon as I have some more, I'll make more journals. But there's four of them listed in the Etsy shop right now. So I got that done. That was a lot of fun. And I forgot how to take the X-Acto blade out of my box cutter that I used to trim the journals with. I figured it out finally, but it only took me 10 minutes. I know, right? Good morning, everybody. At least I think it's morning. Uh, yeah, it's technically still morning. 11.33 a.m. Monday, March 22nd. Don't get excited. I'm looking at the computer because I'm editing the vlog. So I've been simultaneously editing video. This is my second one today. Um, having conversations with family, updating people on the status of my mom and her health and what's going on with her. She's being evaluated. I don't know yet, just in case you all are going to ask. Prayers are, of course, always welcome, but we don't know. I don't think it's going to be good, but, you know. Um. Good morning, people. It is just about 10 o'clock just after 10 o'clock on what day is it Tuesday the 23rd I think uh, only one duck See? Oh. there's a few others that keep flying overhead 
but I don't think, yeah, they're thinking about it. Yeah, we people scared them away. Yeah. I don't care if those are, they sound like geese, but they look like ducks. Hey, people. Happy Wednesday morning. It's 10.55 a.m. And, of course, I've been up for a while. Wow, darkness. I'm going to, I delisted a few purge boxes on the Etsy shop that weren't moving that contained old artwork of mine, which y'all don't evidently want. So I'm going to unpackage everything. I'm going to throw out some artwork. I might redo some artwork and then relist it. And um, so, um, sorry, I'm reading a text message from my sister and there's a lot going on still with my mom. She's still in the hospital, which is a good thing. She's undergoing some testing, getting treatment that she needs. And um, I think we're getting senior services involved because she and my dad need help. And none of us kids are close enough to provide that help. Um, distance wise so yeah they have to do something and the doc their doctor's finally on board with getting them some help so anyway so all the things for the things because of the things welcome to my world boxes and envelopes purged. I have a few things that were either good in their own right, I'm going to sign them, and then I'm going to list them individually for sale in the Etsy shop. And um, a few new things that were already on my desk to do that with. So I'm going to do all those sometime next week. I did um, refill two smaller purge boxes because there were a lot of mark making tools and junk a couple of some junk journals and stuff like that in the two big purge boxes so i pulled that stuff out and i refilled two smaller purge boxes medium ones link is down in the video description um and they're full of mark making tools purge boxes some water brushes um just all kinds of things there's a few stitching kits in there there's there's all kinds of stuff um so that's done and i created a journal page so i'll put a copy here I had the little skeleton tree, skeleton leaf Christmas tree shapes in a bunch of stuff that I found. And so I created this page with it. And then I also uh, covered an old piece of artwork that wasn't the best thing on the planet that was in one of those envelopes um, with a layer of semi-transparent gesso, which I mixed by mixing white just one quarter well about one third white gesso to two thirds clear gesso and then i brayered it over the top of the artwork which was done originally in charcoal and very smeary and messy now the piece is going to dry and the white because there's a little bit of white in it it did lighten up the black a little bit and, and it, because it's gesso it sealed everything in so now i'm going to go over it when it dries in a day or two and go over it with pen and marker, maybe a little paint. We're gonna make it something hopefully interesting. And then, then the finished piece will go back up for sale on the Etsy shop by itself. And I picked out a few other pieces that didn't weren't bad enough for the trash can um, that we are going to do something similar with. So anyway, if you'd like to see a video on that, let me know. All right, I think that's it for a minute.
Hey guys, we're in the car again. It is Thursday, March 25th, 1226 PM. I think I'm gonna be a little late. I have to pick up somebody at the airport, but they have a checked bag, so it might be okay. My sister is coming in to town from Utah. Uh, I said already why my niece is about to have another baby. She's helping the, them, the parents out with their firstborn son. Also, uh, by coincidence, mother's very ill as I've said and while some things are being treated other things cannot be treated there's not much they can do so I don't want to go into too many details but yeah hey guys it is a bright beautiful sunny day today here in Oregon thank goodness um, things with my parents are stable for the minute they have home health services coming by on Monday and we had to find out about future um, therapies and tools they're going to need at home going forward. And us kids are going up Saturday tomorrow to uh, before that to have dinner with them, may talk about things. Um, yes, it's not exactly COVID appropriate, but um, about half of us have had our vaccines, not myself, but. Um, everybody's just been keeping to their own bubble and I'm pretty confident it'll be fine. So uh, my parents are sick. I mean, you know, at some point the COVID precautions are all well and good, but I mean, you know, got to do what you got to do. So anyway, and if I seem sort of super cheery and not too upset about the situation with my mom and my parents, um, it's just cause I'm trying not to show to how worried and upset I am. Uh, the situation's pretty serious and we just kind of have no idea what we're going to do and going forward um, it's not really up to me and what I want it's what up to what, what my parents want and um, I can't really do anything until they figure that out they're currently of sound mind maybe not sound health but sound mind so uh, at least my dad so I can't really do anything until he figures out what he wants to do which is why home health care is coming by on Monday and um, all I can do is be sitting and waiting as my siblings to help when they figure that out. Um, we're worried. It's, it's not great. So, all right, I'm gonna go in. I'll be okay, back. Okay guys, you all are so funny. I posted a picture last night of my tissue box holder that I made in my car. Cause I don't know about the rest of you, but if you have allergies, you have a box of tissues in the car. And how many of you are tired of said box of tissues floating around somewhere in the front seat under your feet, or it's way in the back when you need it, or it's just it's floating around the car free form and it's never where you need it and it's never handy. I get tired of it rattling around in the car. I get tired of not being able to reach for it easily and safely. So I made a little bag that I hung off the glove box in my car and out of scrap fabric. And I'm gonna show you all what I did because I'm getting so many comments about it so hold on one second okay i've got to like careful not to move my legs because i've got the phone propped up against a, a little stuffed animal that was in my car so this is the tissue box holder it just hangs here off the glove compartment thing on my car there we go and the it's literally just a bag take the tissues out of it it's just a bag that fits the box of tissues. So what I did is I took my box of tissues. I just, we have the square ones and I measured around the tissues and added an inch. Then I measured from here down through halfway through the bottom and added an inch to make the basic bag. So then I had just a long strip of fabric and I sewed it up on the short end. Then I hemmed the top, I sewed up the bottom and then I put the box back in and it had, whoops, sorry. It had, you know, then it looked flat like this, right? With the pointy corners. So then I put the box in 
and I pinned off the pointy corners and then I sewed them across like this so it would be flat on the bottom so it would nicely fit the box of tissues. Um, how I'm holding it in, I'm getting a lot of questions about that. So before I was finished with it, I added a flap of fabric that's a little pocket. I kept it open on one end. I have a da piece of doweling in there. Actually, to be honest, it's a wood clothespin, an old one of those old-fashioned round wood clothespins. I shoved it in there. I sealed up the other side, and then and it actually moves around in there. You can see it moving around in there, right? You push it all the way to the top to the fold. You oops, put it over the flap of your glove box, and the dowel is going to hold the fabric in without interfering with the locking me mechanism on your glove box. And then you can put the tissues in like that. And you can slide it around a little bit, at least on mine, but it should work about the same on any glove box. And then your tissue box is corralled now, I wouldn't use this kind of pocket for anything that weighs a significant amount. This tissue box is very lightweight. You could use it also for a trash can. Um, but it's a little, just a little pocket with a flap on the back with something to jam the pocket in between the glove box door and the dashboard when it's closed all the way. That's basically all I did. Um, again, I wouldn't put like your drink or anything in here because I think that would be too heavy maybe for the lock on the glove box door, but you definitely could put trash in here, you know, nothing too heavy and definitely your box of tissues. It works great. And it's out of my way. Um, my, when I'm sitting here, my legs, are, I have short legs, so it doesn't interfere with what, how I'm sitting. I suppose if you're really tall and your knees like come up to here, that might be a problem. For me, it's not an issue. And my seats do go back, so you can always push the seat back a little more. Anyway. That's the tissue box bag corral item. So if you all, I guess, want a different, like, tutorial, we can do that. It's a weird thing for me to give you a tutorial on, but, I mean, it is practical. All right. I'm going to go back inside. I'll be hey back. Hey, guys. It is Saturday morning, March 27th, I think. We are... Getting some chores done around our house and my sister's packing up her stuff and doing a little bit of work this morning before we leave to head up north a couple hours to my parents' house and meet with them, a little bit of family that's up there, Zoom with the rest of the family for safety reasons because hello COVID. Um, and try to help my parents with what needs help because of my mom's health and medical conditions. Um, sorry, mail. Um, she is pretty sick. They are, my parents are in their 80s and um, it's not cancer or anything, but it is se pretty serious. Oh, my sister's gonna be so happy. Her doTERRA is here. Um, and we need to help them make arrangements, living arrangements going forward to make things as comfortable as possible for my mom and my dad. So we are going to go do that. And I don't want to say too much more because I don't want to violate my parents' privacy, but it's pretty bad.
Hey guys, we are back from my parents' house. I think it's 10.30ish, something like that. Anyway, we are making a cup of tea, going to have some snacks. I'm checking to make sure I turned my computer off before I left because I don't know. Things with my parents, as I said, are a bit stressful. My mom is sick and she's probably not gonna get a lot better. Um, I don't want to get too much into it because I don't want to violate any privacy on my parents' part, but to uh, sum it up, she's got some physical and mental health issues and they're pretty serious. So, um, yeah, so all we can do is make sure she gets the treatment she needs, um, and make sure my dad's okay. That's all we can do. She's been diagnosed with dementia, among other things. So before you think it's like something else, like she's not psychotic or anything, but you know, anyway, um, I'm rambling now, but it's pretty stressful and dealing with the whole thing with my siblings is pretty stressful and we're all worried, of course. So we're just doing what we can to support both of them and get her the treatment she needs and make sure that my dad's got the help he needs. That's all we can do. So that's why we were there today. Um, but yeah, prayers are welcome, by the way, if you do pray. <sighs> but we're home now. I'm in my pajamas already, and I'm going to have some tea and a couple lemon cookies. Computer's off. Looks like I remembered to do that because I forgot to turn some other things off before I left. <laughs> um, I don't know what the schedule is for lives or anything, what this is going to do to that. I have no idea. I don't know. It depends on a lot of things. My, They're going to be getting home care help, hopefully, but we find out more Monday, and yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it's been a weird week. Thank you, COVID. The decade of weirdness. I don't know. What do I know? Not much right now. Anyway, I hope you've all had a great week. Hug your loved ones, and... You know, just enjoy life while you can, because you never know when it, that's going to be it, when your time card has been punched. So, please stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please wear a mask and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I am going to take a lesson from this. I'm going to keep walking. I'm going to keep losing weight and getting healthy. I'm going to do what I need to to make sure I take care of myself because I can't take care of anybody else in my life or do art or share with you all if I don't take care of myself first. So I'm still continuing to eat healthier, walk, get my steps in, well, except today, because I got a lot of this car driving in, and do what I have to. So I think you should do the same, maybe? All right, that's it for right now. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.